Hi, it's Lucy, and today I'm here to do a tier ranking of Book Twitter's most popular books. I just felt like doing this. I saw this going around on Twitter, and so instead of just keeping it on Twitter, I decided to bring it to the tube. The book tube. <laughs> ah, so funny. Anyway, this like tier maker list thing was created by Layla Martinez on Twitter. I'll have her Twitter link down below, but she compiled all the books for this tier ranking. I've done a tier ranking before, and it was ranking all the series that I've read. I'm pretty sure BookTube is over the tier ranking trend, but I don't know, I just saw this on Twitter and I was like, I wanna do that. I don't know how interesting this will be because you could probably just look at my Goodreads to figure it out. I don't know, we'll just see what happens. Shouldn't talk myself down like that, but yes, I'm gonna be in a corner right now. And if I'm looking down, it's because my computer is on my lap. So the tiers on this list are pretty self-explanatory. We have five stars at the top, four stars, three stars, two stars, one star, DNF, TBR, and I'm not gonna read it. So I'm just gonna take each book and place them accordingly. It'll be a surprise to me and you. I'm not gonna scroll down. So you can just see the top row right now and we'll find out the rest as we go on. So the first book that comes up is A Court of Thorns and Roses. We're going to put this in, not going to read. I have talked about this before, but I really don't have a lot of interest in reading anything by Sarah J Mass. nothing personal. She just doesn't seem like my type of author and the book series she's written haven't interested me so much. I was sort of interested in A Court of Thorns and Roses, but then everyone is talking about how the second book is better, but now that a couple of years have gone by, nobody talks about that anymore? I don't know, it's kind of weird. A Curse So Dark and Lonely is next, and that one's also gonna go and not going to read. Honestly, nothing about the synopsis sounds that interesting to me. The only reason that I would read it is because everyone was talking about it so much, but I've heard mixed things about it, and it's just not a book that I would normally pick up anyway, so I'm comfortable keeping it and not going to read. A Darker Shade of Magic. I read this. So originally when I read it, I did give it four and a half stars. The thing is, the second book in the series, I gave three stars and I think I'm gonna DNF the series. So I don't, I don't know why I really liked it that much. I kind of think I should downgrade the rating because looking back, I don't know what was up. So I'm gonna put it in this four star ranking. An Ember in the Ashes. Um, this goes back and forth between Not Going to Read and TBR. I'm gonna put it in TBR because I heard about it and was like, oh, I wanna read it. And then I stopped hearing about it because I think it took a while for the last book in the series to come out or like the second or third book to come out. I don't know. I feel like there's a big break in the series so people stopped talking about it as much. So then I was like, eh, I don't think I'm ever gonna read this. And I kind of thought it wasn't gonna be finished, but now it seems like the series is going to be finished and also that I've been seeing like a renewed interest in the series. And so I think I do want to read it one day. We'll see. The Foxhole Court, um, not going to read. I've heard this described as the, what is it? The Raven Boys, but edgier. And The Raven Boys is kind of a mess series for me so far. So I don't really want to read an edgier version. And I've heard a lot of trigger warnings in the Foxhole Court series as well. And there's like, I don't know if it's like a bully romance or something. I think that's it. Or like people are just mean to the main character. And I, uh, I just don't want to read that. Aristotle and Dante discovered the secrets of the universe. Five stars. I read this and I loved it. Um, when did I read this? I don't know. I read it a couple years ago and it's just as heartwarming and beautiful as everyone says. It's about two boys discovering their friendship and potentially more than their friendship and it just is lovely. Next we have A Song of Wraiths and Ruins by... I've been saying the author of any of these before. I don't know why I'm starting now. So this is going to go on TBR. This is actually on my TBR. It might not actually be on my Goodreads TBR, but I do plan to read it. I know that it's a black fantasy and that's usually enough for me. What is this? Bloodlines. Not going to read it. Uh, I read the first book in the Vampire Academy series like when I was in high school so like the not appropriate age but like the age when it was really popular for me to have read it and like enjoyed it and I did not enjoy it at all which I feel like is saying something because it was like the tail end of my twilight phase um, and I don't remember I think the main character just really annoyed me but I know that this is the sequel series to 
the Vampire Academy series, but why would I read the sequel series to a series that I never finished? So I'm not gonna read that. Caraval, this is on my TBR. I got it in an owl crate, so I own it. So yeah, it's on my TBR. Hopefully I'll get to it soon. City of Brass, okay. So I was never interested in this and then everyone started talking about it. So now I'm kind of interested in it. So it's going to go on my TBR. Could not tell you what it's about. Crescent City or House of Earth and Blood. Still don't know what the book is actually called by Sarah J. Mass. Once again, not going to read it. Same reason as The Court of Thrones and Roses. Not interested. Divergent. I rated this four stars when I read it originally and I have an unpopular opinion about the ending of the series. I've talked about it a lot. I don't know if I would change my mind if I reread it, but I'm never planning to reread it. So yeah, I enjoyed the series. What is this? Dance of Thieves. Oh, I'm not going to read it. That is the start of a sequel series, I think, for The Remnant Chronicles. The first book in that is called The Kiss of Deception, and everyone always gets you with The Kiss of Deception's synopsis, which is, it's about a princess or a girl. I don't know if she's a princess, but she's like important enough to have an arranged marriage or something like that and she doesn't want to get married so she runs away and then we follow her perspective and then we follow two other perspectives one is the prince that she like left of the altar and the other is an assassin who is sent to kill her for what reason i don't know and we don't know who is who and i think it's probably a love triangle i don't know the thing is nobody ever tells you what the second book follows because probably by the end of the first book you lose the gimmick because you find out which boy is who so I don't know, but I just kind of lost interest in reading that series, so I never read it, so I'm not going to read the sequel series. Next we have Fallen by Lauren Kate. This is not going to read. <laughs> Lots of books are not getting read in this tier ranking. This is an Angel series, I think. Once again, leftover from the Twilight era. Really the only book series that I remember reading from that phase that I enjoyed is literally Twilight. I just read a bunch of books after Twilight to like recapture that feeling and I, looking back, I did not enjoy any of them that much except for a few of them, but then by the end of the series, they all get bad. So yeah, but anyway, I never read Fallen. <laughs> That's the point of that. <laughs> From Blood and Ash. I don't know what this is, so I'm not gonna read it. Oops. Oh. You know, I think it's it's by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I think this is the book that just came out by her because Jennifer L. Armentrout wrote, what did she write? That Alien series? Is that the one she wrote? Is that her? The Lux series? I think that's her. I'll fact check myself after this. It was her. But yeah, but I was never interested in that. Uh, I think... Uh, Jennifer L. Armentrout writes a lot of like fantasy romance, which isn't super my thing because uh, it's really heavy on the romance and I prefer to be heavier on the fantasy. Frostblood. I've seen this cover around, but I don't know what it's about either. And I've never, yeah, I don't even know the author of that one. Fairyborn. I've read it. I gave it four stars. I enjoyed it. I still have to read the sequel and the third book. Wait, I don't think the third book is out yet. So I just have to read the sequel. But yeah, I enjoyed Fairyborn. When I read it two years ago, yeah, I read it while I was in Prague. <laughs> so, has that good memory attached to it as well? Shadow and Bone. I also read this. I feel like, not obviously, because I, I'm not known for enjoying any series, I feel like. I don't even know what I'm known for. What, what books do you associate me with? Please let me know in the comments down below. But yes, Shadow and Bone, I loved Six of Crows, so I went back. No, I didn't. I read the Shadow and Bone trilogy before I read Six of Crows because I expected to love it and I wanted to just have the full foundation for the series and I'm glad I did that. I do recommend reading the Shadow and Bone trilogy before reading the Six of Crows duology and you have to read it before you read King of Scars. So yeah, I enjoyed the Shadow and Bone trilogy. I keep forgetting what is going on. <laughs> yeah, I think it kind of gets a bad rap. The only thing that I never understood is the love triangle aspect because I never saw the love triangle. I was like, is that what Liberty was trying to do here like I didn't even see it like I was expecting I guess it to be more overt but I just was like bad guy's bad <laughs> she likes the other guy I was like what is the context anyway but that was the only thing that I thought about which isn't the book's fault like <laughs> so I enjoyed it it is probably cliche YA fantasy but it gives me fun memories I guess Heartless by Marissa Meyer TBR I got this also in an owl crate, so I own it and I'm planning to read it. 
House of Salt and Sorrows. Not planning to read it. I think this is the 12 Dancing Princesses retelling. Is that this one? I'm not sure. But I don't really want to read it, so I'm not going to. Harry Potter. Okay, it's it's in here. Uh, I am refraining from talking about Harry Potter on this channel, but it, I didn't actually look at this tier ranking. But, you know, I loved Harry Potter when I read it. J.K. Rowling is bad now. I guess she was always bad. But <laughs> she is outwardly bad and doubling down. So that's all we have to say. Hush Hush by Lauren Kate. This is another one that I haven't read, not going to read. Definitely a remnant from the Twilight era. This one's also about angels, I think. Maybe Fallen's not about angels, I don't know. Illuminae, five stars. One of my favorite books of all time, one of my favorite series beginnings of all time. The rest of the series went downhill for me, but Illuminae, I've read, I've read it twice so far. I will probably read it again, and I think it will stand the test of time, because I just feel like it does everything so good. King of Scars, what did I give it? I think I gave it four stars. I think it should get three stars, three and a half stars. I think I, I think that should be one of the books that I downgrade because I think I was just on such a high from having just read the Six of Crows duology and then getting to King of Scars because I read Six of Crows the month before this came out. It deserves a downgrade. The thing that everyone is mad about, I'm also mad about. Legend by Mary Lou. I enjoyed this. This is from the dystopian phase. I definitely enjoyed the dy books from my dystopian phase way more than I enjoyed the books from my Twilight phase, which is weird because they were basically at the same time. Uh, I enjoyed that series. I'm probably not gonna read the series continuation, whose title I forgot the name of, just because I feel like I would have to reread the whole trilogy to do that, and I just don't feel like doing that, so. But the trilogy was good when I read it in high school. I don't know when I read it. Ninth House, speaking of Lee Bardugo, this is on my TBR because I wanna give it a chance. I've heard it has a lot of trigger warnings, but it does sound interesting to me. There are a lot of mixed feelings, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Percy Jackson. This is also on my TBR. I have in the past expressed that I don't think I'm going to read Percy Jackson because I feel like I might have missed the boat, but I feel like I, I don't know, I just want to give it a shot because I do love kids' books. I don't know. We'll see what happens. The Raven Boys. What did I give this? Did I give the Raven Boys four or three stars? I think it might be three and a half. I spent, I'll put it in four stars. But yeah, that's kind of all there is to it. I read The Raven Boys and I read the second one, which is called The Dream Thieves. And The Dream Thieves, I think I gave three and a half stars or three stars. It was fine. The Raven Boys was also, I kind of went into it expecting not to like know a lot, which everyone tells you to go into the book expecting. So I think I enjoyed it more because of that. But by the second book, you kind of want to, know something and I felt like I still didn't know anything by the end of the second book. Red Queen. Um, I'm not going to read it. I just never had interest in it. Everyone talked about how it was like an amalgamation of like a bunch of the other popular YA series that came before it but that wasn't really the reason that I never read it. I don't know the concept didn't sound that interesting to me. Renegades is on my TBR. I do like the concept of superheroes so yeah, I do want to give that a shot. What is this? Uh, I don't know what book this is. So I'm going to put in not going to read it. <laughs> Rhapsody? I've never heard of that. So is that a popular book on book Twitter? I've never heard of that. Red, white, and royal blue. Uh, this is on my TBR. I just never got to it. Everyone who reads it loves it, which kind of makes me scared to read it because what if I don't love it and I'm the odd one out. Scythe by Neil Shusterman. Uh, that's on my TBR. It sounds really interesting. I'm looking forward to reading it when I get the chance, which will hopefully be soon. Serpent and Dove. I think I talked about this in my anti-haul where I said I wasn't going to read it, so I'm still not going to read it. <laughs> the Shadows Between Us. This is also going I'm not going to read. I've seen this book around. I just never cared about it, so. Shatter Me. This is another book I gave four stars which I would stick with four stars. I really enjoyed reading the first book. The second book, however, I hated. I was not a big fan of it. I should also downgrade that rating. <laughs> but yeah, I did not like the second book. But the first book, I just had a fun time reading it. Stalking Jack the Ripper by 
Carrie, whatever her last name is, sorry. Uh, I'm not going to read it. I think this was also in my anti-haul video. It'll be linked down below and in the cards. Six of Crows, I just talked about it. So Six of Crows, I gave four stars, but Crooked Pink Kingdom, uh, I gave five stars. So just putting that out there. Lady Midnight by, who is it? By Cassandra Clare. Uh, I think I put this one in my anti haul as well, or just all of Cassandra Clare's books. I have no interest. I read the first two Shadowhunters books, and I just never continued on because the second one really upset me. Not upset me. It, it just, it was so bad. It made me mad. <laughs> and that rhymed. Bars. The Crow Prince, another one in my anti haul video. And The Gilded Wolves, three stars. I... Did not like it that much. It was fine. The first like 100 pages of the book, I like could not read it. I felt like I didn't know what I was reading. But after that, it got better, but I just was not a huge fan of it. The characters didn't feel super fleshed out to me. I did like the treasure hunt aspect, but it just wasn't that good to me. The selection, what did I get? I think I gave it three stars. It should probably get two stars. So I'm gonna put in two stars. I'm gonna have to re-rate all my books now on Goodreads. Um, it was bad. The selection, people are like, oh, it's, it's like, it's so bad. It's good. But it was just bad to me. I don't know. I, maybe I'm not the right audience for that type of entertainment. But yeah, I didn't like it. The Hunger Games. Four stars. Doesn't need an explanation. I don't know. The Hunger Games. I enjoyed it. In the beginning of my dystopian phase. Good times. Clockwork Angel. Going, not going to read. To Kill a Kingdom, I don't know if this is on my TBR, but I'm not opposed to reading it. I'm going to put it on my TBR. Cinder, I read it and I probably gave it four stars. Oops, just scroll up. I probably gave it four stars when I read it. I enjoyed Cinder. I enjoyed the Lunar Chronicles as a whole. I am not mad that I read it, but I also don't think I needed to finish the series because I remember being super into the first three and then I read the fourth one a long time after. So yeah, I probably didn't need the conclusion because I kind of already knew what was going to happen, but the books, as individual books I thought were fine and good. Another Cassandra Clare book, not going to read it. Another one, not going to read it. This is Editing Lucy here to make a correction. I put the City of Bones book and not going to read it because I was blindsided by the fact that so many Cassandra Clare books were on this list, but I have actually read it. I talked about it in the beginning of this video, so I probably didn't even need to put this clip in, but yes, I read it. I gave it three stars at the time. It probably deserves two stars. Who knows? But yes, I read it. Uh, it will not be reflected in this ranking because it's been a day since I did it, but I read it. It was not that good, but it was good enough that I read the second book, which I hated. The Night Circus. I read it. And I gave it four stars. I enjoyed it. And yeah, it really has that magical atmosphere that everyone talks about. And I think it deserved the hype. We have Throne of Glass, not going to read it. <laughs> the Poppy War, I'm not going to read this. Uh, not because I think it's bad. A lot of these, I think, yeah, a lot of the books in the not going to read it are books that I think will be bad. Not all of them, but this one specifically, The Poppy War. I'm not going to read it because it sounds like not truly my type of book. I'm not really into grim dark fantasy. I don't like body horror or body or like gore of any kind. And people say that this has a lot of it and it's also like super not dramatic, like like you don't realize it's coming until it happens, so it's not like a lot of preparation. And yeah, so that's not really it for me. I don't really like that kind of book. It sounds really good. If it didn't have all those like grim dark elements, like the rest of the synopsis sounds really interesting to me. But yeah, I just don't think I can handle that kind of um, writing, I guess. The Song of Achilles. This is on my TBR. It sounds like it could be interesting, so I have it on my TBR. The Wrath and the Dawn. I read this, I gave it four stars, I want to say. Or three and a half. Probably four stars. Honestly, I probably should have given it like three or three and a half because this is a book that I remember kind of being confused while reading it. Like I just felt like I wasn't 100% sure what was going on. I wasn't a huge fan of the romance, which is 
kind of necessary for a book like this. I think that I was just being too nice to this book. I'm gonna put in three stars. <laughs> wow, Twilight. Okay, you know, I just spent so long comparing a bunch of books to Twilight, but I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it in four stars because at the time that I read it, I did really enjoy it. Now I know things about the author and things in the book that I just didn't catch when I was 12 reading this book and like not familiar with experiences that were uh, like hijacked by this book. Um, but also it gets four stars because my favorite book in the Twilight series was New Moon because I love Jacob. So Twilight gets four stars, New Moon gets five stars, Breaking Dawn gets probably four and a half stars. We don't need to do my whole ranking of the Twilight series. Okay, Vampire Academy, I didn't know that was going to be on this list. I talked about it already, not going to read it. Vicious, I've seen this. This is like a romance thing. Sounds very smutty, which is not my thing. I don't love smut. I don't even really like sex scenes in books, but I can tolerate them if the rest of the romance is like good. The end of this video cut off. So I only have three books left, I think. I think next was War Cross by Mary Lou. Uh, this is on my TBR because I wanna read more books by Mary Lou. And then there was also Vicious, which is also on my TBR. I own it and I wanna read it. It sounds interesting and then Lastly was Wicked Saints, which I said I'm not going to read. I could be convinced to change my mind on that, but for now I'm not super interested. And that's it. That's the end of this tier ranking. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a like. I had to think about that. In the comments down below, let me know if you have any opinions about any of the books that I mentioned. If uh, you think I should take any of these books that I am not going to read and read them. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. If you've made it this far into the video, give me a star emoji. And I think that's it. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!